Coach, just the general excitement of being game week. Uh, as excited as everybody else is in the country, I'm sure. Just really looking forward to having our young ladies play under the lights again and uh, smell the popcorn, as one would say, for our first official game. What was your biggest takeaways from the exhibition on Friday? Uh, just what it is that it's a young group, and uh, we have one senior that was out for two years, so oh, well, a year and a half, so it's good to have her, but she's fairly new too because she's never played for me. So uh, just overall, just the type of uh, girls that we're going to have to just grow with uh, game by game, but we're looking forward to accepting the challenge. Dom had a nice game in her mm. debut, if you will, <laughs> uh, both on the boards and scoring. Mm. She's obviously going to have to be a big factor for you guys. Yeah. What kind of growth have you seen from her already? Uh, it's just been tremendous. I feel like if we had her for the whole summer, we would even be more ahead, but it's, it's, it's exciting to know that with the limited time we've had with her, what she's been able to do. So we're, we're going to depend on Dominique heavily. We need her to be a high-level minute player for us, and uh, she's a presence in the paint and defensively, and then offensively the, the team loves playing with her. What were you able to take away from the film of that first exhibition game? Uh, just that... Uh, we were seemed a bit nervous, and so that's why you play those games to kind of get out and have the opportunity to play a real game before a real game. And uh, also that this group will need time to get to know each other on the floor, and that's just through playing games. Talk about the the nerves, but Taylor mm -hmm. Smith, who got all that experience yeah. last year in, in the SEC, maybe more mm -hmm. minutes than you wanted mm -hmm. to. Uh, she was shooting the ball without any inhibitions, yeah. and, and that's probably the growth you wanted to see for her. In your exactly. Uh, for the young ladies that played a lot of minutes last year, I need to see the growth, and that's what we're going to expect every single year. We're going to expect the same type of growth from the young ladies that uh, play this year because we're not deep, so everyone's going to get an opportunity to get out there and, and sweat for us, and hopefully it'll pay off in the long run. You talked about Tori not mm -hmm. playing in your system, but yeah. at the same time, has seen some big minutes mm -hmm. in her career. What kind of a leader has she been for you already, and what will she have to do to, to lead this team? Yeah, I mean, Tori's presence of just being out there um, after which some may seem as some type of adversity, but a uh, blessing. Uh, she's been incredible, you know, just understanding what we need, you know, understanding the big game. Uh, but <clears throat> at the same time, she's been selfless. She's been reaching out to the younger players and helping them through the process. Tonight's men's game, I know you're, you're mm -hmm. having a, a charitable <clears throat> impact with this game. Uh, what, what does it mean for you? And then you've seen some of the players yeah. on, on both your team and their team try to help the Bahamas as yeah. well. So can you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot. We're excited about the opportunity to be able to uh, give back to my country and, and Val's country and Sammy's country and, and, and uh, Franco's country, <laughs> uh, so there are four of us. That's a high percentage uh, when you look on a basketball program, men and women's. And so it just it just speaks to Kermit and the type of relationship we have. He could have used any foundation, but he reached out. It was his idea uh, to reach out to me to utilize mine. So it meant a lot.